Hello, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. How's everyone doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to the YMCA of Greater Toronto YouTube channel. My name is Lily and I am the director of programs at the Scarborough YMCA. Good morning, Robbie. And um, for today, we are, thank you for joining me for the body fit class with more of a strength focus. And all you will need today, hi, Christine, all you will need today. Good morning, Jacqueline from Montreal. Thank you so much for tuning in. How's the weather there in Montreal? Is it sunny? We woke up, well, I woke up with the sun here in Toronto. So it's quite nice and I'm very happy about it. So yes, the equipment, sunny, sunny, but cold. I know, I think it's actually pretty nice outside today. I'm hoping for nice weather for you. Hopefully it'll warm up in Montreal. <laughs> so for the equipment today, uh, we will need a mat. I'm actually wearing running shoes, but you're more than welcome to wear your socks or be barefoot. I just like the running shoes for better support and better balance. And so it's a mat, light weights if you would like. If you don't have hand weights, you can definitely use some canned soup, canned uh, ravioli, canned beans. Depending on the size of it, it could range from a pound or two. I actually also have some nice candles that add um, some weight as well, so or a water bottle. So anything that adds some weight to or resistance to your workout will allow you to challenge yourself just a little bit more. But if you don't have weights, that's okay. You can just use your own body weight and create tension that way. So once again, if you are tuning in, good morning. My name is Lily, and this is the 30-minute body fit class with more of a weight emphasis. And please remember, if you're new to body fit, just remember to take everything at your own pace, take water breaks frequently to stay hydrated, and most importantly, have some fun. So let me just quickly check the time. We have a minute to go. So get yourself set up. You're going to give yourself some space forward, back, left and right, just to be able to move around freely and safely. And also if you, for many of the exercises, if we do, when we do go into balance, if you have a chair available or a wall available for additional support, please free, feel free to use that as well. All right, so here we go. We are going to get ready, get set up and get moving. So let's have some fun. Listen to your body. Listen to your body and take everything at your own pace. So here we go. We're going to start off with a warm up with just some basic movements and you listen to your body in terms of how quickly you would like to move or slowly. We are just getting the blood flowing in our body. So here we go. Let's start nice and easy from the head, looking right to left.
Bring your hands to the side. Now knees. Balls on, coming onto the balls of your feet. So speed is up to you. Slowing it down. Or taking it to tempo. Up to you. Take it to a march. March. Very good. With your march, heel dig to the front. Do a bicep curl. So speed is up to you. Up to you with speed. It can be slow or it can be tempo. Let's lift our legs up, ankles. Again, option is there to slow it down. Up to you. Take your hands back, hands to heels. Belly button still drawn in. Four, three, two. Hands to your ankles once again. You can lift your arms a little higher. That will increase your heart rate. Belly button again, a reminder is always there to keep it drawn in. One more count. Three, two, lift your knees forward. Tap, tap. Four, three, two, step your legs out, out. So side step, option is there to take it a little slower if you'd like, up to you. Take it to a double step, here we go. Whew. We're going to slow this double step down, add little squats. Looks like this, down. Reach your arm forward. Take it back to the march. March. With your left leg, you're going to take it to a heel or a heel and a tap. So, left heel, right tap. Left heel, right tap. legs. So the heel and a toe. Heel, toe. Tummy is tight. You lean forward just a little bit. Let's add the reach. Reach up. So we slow it down a bit. Reach up. Again. March it out. Deep breath. Water. If you are tuning in right now, once again, my name is Lily. This is Body Fit. Taking everything at your own pace. Water breaks whenever you need. We are going to move into our muscle work. So our resistance training. Weights up close by if needed. Taking your legs a little bit wider. Shoulders back. Tummy tight. Squeeze your bottom. We're going to take it down four by four into your squat. Imagine sitting in a chair. Are you ready? Slow. Down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three. Now you make sure you squeeze at the top. Reaching the crown of your head towards the sky. Again, again. Slow. Feel those muscles in the legs. Up. Two, three. Squeeze at top. Remember, try to keep your heart and 
sure our torso is upright. Knees behind the toes. Take it down and hold. Wiggle your toes. Nicely done. Squeeze it back up. Shake it out. So I typically like to perform my exercises twice. We will have a little break and work on our chest. If you do not have hand weights, that's okay. Water bottle, hand soup is good to go. Draw your elbows at 90 degrees. Neck is nice and long, core is tight. Squeeze it in, just like that. Good. Remember to keep your neck nice and long. Shoulders away from your ears. Keep it going. Now you may stay 
here, I'll put to my side, my elbows lift it up a little bit, and I'm just pushing or kicking back. The option is, if you feel strong in this position and you're open for a challenge, you may bend your knees a little more, hinge forward at the hips, and kick back this way. All right? My elbows, the movement is coming from the elbow joint rather than my shoulders. My neck is nice and long, and my gaze is down and in front to keep my neck neutral. So you are either hinged forward, or you may be in the standing position. Entirely up to you. We have a few more. Four, three, two. Rest those arms, take it back to the legs. I start with our right leg grounded, left knee up, push through your heel, and down. Wall for support or chair for support if needed. Now if you feel strong and you don't need to rest the leg, you may continue here. It just challenges the balance a little bit more. I always find if you keep your heart nice and proud, you keep your core strong, and you lengthen to the sky, I'll switch, it significantly helps with balance. Supporting leg bent, option is there to lower your foot down to rest, or you may stay here holding the balance as you extend. Remember to push through the heels. Tummy tight. Just like this. We have three more. Two. Just like that, shake it out. Back to your arms. These are the back of your arms, your triceps. So option is to stand tall, elbows back, tucked in, kick back, or hinging forward. Belly button is tight. So let's take it three up, one down. Up, two, three, take it down. Up, two, three, one more. And slow it down even more to a four and four. So up, two, three, four, take it down. Tummy tight again. Up, two, three, four, and down. Two, two by twos. Last bit. Up, two. Tummy again is tight. Up, two. Up, down. One more. Very good, shake them out. Do you feel them in the back of your arms? Whew. You can take your hand to your shoulder, elbow to the sky, just a quick stretch. Water break if needed. We're going to move to the, the next lower body exercise. Again, with a little more emphasis on balance, we are going to take it to our one leg squat. Couple of options, chair or wall for support if needed. Option one, resting your toes, one toe or your toes on the ground for one leg, and all you're gonna do is sit back and press up, okay? Option two, you may lift that foot off the ground and take it to one leg. And by performing a one leg squat, we, we target a little bit more of our inner thighs. Meanwhile, strengthening our legs help us with walking, sitting, our lower body movements. So again, option is there for toes resting on the ground. And we're just moving slowly. Let's switch legs. Toes on the ground if needed, shoulders back, tummy is tight. Sink your hips down, squeeze back up. Remember to push through your entire foot almost wiggle your toes at the bottom. The option is there to lift the foot off. Entirely up to you. Ooh. So for two more. One more. Very nice. And the 
one-legged squat also assists, with, because of the balance, assists with ankle strength, foot strength. Let's take it back to our weights. Standing, knees are soft and slightly bent, firmly planted to the ground, shoulders back. We take it to our bicep curl. So to your shoulders and then upper thigh. Palms to the sky. And even in the standing position, although our arms are moving, our core remains strong. You may squeeze your bottoms a little bit if you would like. Work the whole body. Keep the core proud. Or keep the heart proud. Let's take it four up, slowing it down. Here we go. Up. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three. Try to keep your wrist neutral, really using your upper arms or your biceps here. Three up, one down. Up, two, three, one down. Up, two, three, twice more. Up, two, down. You know the drill. Take it back to your legs. Here we go. Toes rested if you'd like, or knee lifted. Take it down, keep your heart proud. Try to focus on your lower body, and you're only going as low as you feel comfortable. Wiggle your toes at the bottom, squeeze back up, squeeze the bottom. Let's go for three more. And slowly, because of all the movements, all the large muscles we've worked, you probably feel a bead of sweat, maybe a little more. Let's switch it over, other side. Toes, chest proud, or knee lifted, wall or chair for support, push, squeeze. I really can't emphasize enough that you have to squeeze your bottoms, make everything work, make all this movement purposeful. Two more. All right, back to your biceps. To the weights or without, entirely up to you. Soft knees, shoulders back. This time we're gonna have the palms facing each other. Elbows tucked in, curl it up. Just like this. Tummy tucked. <sighs> Focus on breathing. Hold it here, adjust your form. Three up, two, Three, one down. Up. Two. Three. Twice more. Up. One down. Up. Two. Let's slow it down. Four by four. Slow. Two. Three. Four. Take it down. Control. Three. Four. Take it up. Two. Three. Four. And down. Two. Three. Release. Shake it right out. Take this opportunity. Grab a sip of water if you haven't yet. We do lose a lot of water through sweating. We want to make sure we stay hydrated. So here we go. Standing, shoulders back. Tuck your elbows in. And you're going to take your lower arms out, back in. So elbows tucked in right by the body, the side of your body. In this standing position, my knees are soft and slightly bent. I'm lengthening my spine. My belly button is drawn in. Three. Two. Nicely done. Now we're going to lift our elbows away from the body, keeping the neck nice and long. Moving into some exercises that strengthen our shoulders, shoulder blades. Hold it here. Reach your fingers to the sky and just slide it up and down. And just be mindful as you're reaching your fingers to the sky. Check your shoulders, keeping your neck nice and long. Three. Two. 
One, release. Taking it down and up. Hold it here, press down. We will do this four times. Three, just a bit. Two, one. Tuck your elbows in. Taking your hand, pressing it into the belly. Release, keeping your elbows tight to the body and pressing into the belly. Release, into the belly. Release, into the belly. Release, shake it out. We're going to make our way down onto our mat now. How is everyone feeling? Are you doing all right at home? Feeling energized and stronger? Yes? All right. Nice thing about it is you get to work at your own pace. No one is watching. Taking it down onto your back. Sliding one hand to the small of your back. I'm not quite sure if you can see me. Can you see me? Let me see. Can you see me when I lie down? Hi, Beverly. <laughs> okay, you're just going to slide one hand to the small of your back. Knees remain bent. So your middle finger is directly underneath your belly button. Now press your belly button into the back of your hand. Your neck remains nice and long. Belly button is in. We're going to perform a modified curl. Just for a few. You're going to curl up. Now remember, just enough so that you're, a little bit of your shoulders lift off. Now the big orange in between your chin and lower back down. So I'm not lifting with my head, I'm lifting with my abdominals. The movement is very small and I keep that tension between the small of my back and my hand. Let's go for two more. Up and hold. Release. One more, up, and release. Nicely done. Whew. All right, feet hip width apart, squeeze your bottoms, press your feet into your mat. Exhale, lift your hips up, lower back down. Remember to squeeze your bottoms, okay? And this exercise aims to strengthen your lower back, your hamstrings. When you return your hips back down, just allow your hips to hover over the mat and then press your feet into the ground, squeeze, hips to the sky once again. Down and hover. Core is strong, lift. And down, let's go for two more. Up and hold, squeeze your bottoms. And down. One more, take it up. While you're holding here, belly button is drawn in, you may stay here and just hold, or you may lift your heels off your mat and heels back down. Heels up, heels down. For four. Three, two more, one more, nicely done, lower your hips down, drop both knees towards you, rock side to side. Ooh. All right, lower your feet back down. Lower your feet back down. Oh. Oh. Draw your right ankle to your left thigh. Your left knee towards you and hold. Allow your upper body to sink into your mat. Release your left leg, extend just your right leg to the sky, holding behind the calves or your upper thigh. Really allow your breathing to reach your belly, point your toes. 
flex your foot, ankle in one direction, and now the other. Great. Release. Draw your left ankle to your right thigh, right knee towards you, and hold. Check your shoulders. Ensure your shoulders are away from your ears. Focus on your breathing. Allow your upper body to sink deeper into your mat. Release left leg to the sky. Ankle in one direction. And now the other. Release. Turning onto one side, from here slowly press yourself up. Turn facing your mat as you rest on the balls of both feet. Nice and slow, roll yourself up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Very good. Taking your left leg, step it back just a little bit, like a lunge. Drop your back knee and press your pelvis forward. And if you require additional support, it could be a chair or a wall. You're just pressing your pelvis forward, stretching out your hip flexors. Now push your heels, so straighten the leg out a little bit. Press your heels into the ground as best you can, keeping your body aligned. Step forward, right leg back. Bend your back knee, pelvis forward. Keep your chest proud. Keep your shoulders down. And just breathing deep. Press through your heels, lower your heels down. Nice little stretch for your calf. Come on up, left hand, elbow to sky, stretching out the triceps. Other side, here we go. Release, tap each finger with your thumb. Let me see if you can. See it from here, yes. Tap each finger with your thumb. Now tap it, do it behind. Good. <laughs> Bring your hands back forward, hands into a tight, tight fist. Curl your toes under. Can't see my toes, but it's curled under. Now spread your fingers far apart, spread your toes, wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Once again, bring your hands into a tight fist. Curl your toes under. Spread and wiggle. Spread and wiggle. Let's take a deep breath in. Up. Exhale. Once more, deep breath in. Reach for the sky. Soften the shoulders. Reach, reach, reach. And as you exhale, Shake out. Ears, shoulders, hip, knees, ankles aligned. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you so much for joining the class today. How do you feel? Oop. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling a little more energized? A little stronger? I hope today's workout gets you started. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Thank you so much, Robbie. Yes, I really hope today's exercise. Marie, thank you so much. Beverly, thank you so much. Annette, thank you so much for tuning in. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope today's movement gets your day started and that you have a, a very, very good day. Chris, 
Yes, keep me posted later. Please remember to stay hydrated. You want to make sure you drink a lot of water. If you were sweating a lot, you want to replenish the fluids back in your body. Jacqueline, thank you so much for joining in. And please remember, if you know of anyone else who requires some movement or some strengthening exercises, we are offering quite a few of these live classes throughout the week. We had yoga this morning, we will have some balance, we have some chair exercises, we have some chair exercises that are available as well, some soothing yoga, and all of these classes are here to keep you active and keep you connected with us. So if you really enjoyed it, please remember to like, or share our link below and remember to subscribe to the YMC of Greater Toronto YouTube channel. I'm once again so happy to be here with you and I hope to see you actually next week on Tuesday and on Thursday instead of the 10 o'clock time slot. I will be tuning in at 11 o'clock instead so I hope that time works out with, with everybody. And um, yes, I won't be in until next week. So for all the mothers out there, I just want to wish you all a happy Mother's Day. And um, everyone, please enjoy your day. I really hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.